Hi, I'm going to review this Excel sheet regarding degrees to show you how conditional probability works. So I've opened up the Excel workbook degrees, and we're going to go ahead and kind of give you some background here that there was a survey done from five different colleges, college A, B, C, D, and E, of undergraduate degrees, accounting, business analytics, economics, finance, human resources, management information systems, management, marketing, and finally operations management. So survey was done of, of undergraduate degrees obtained by alumni from the school businesses of these five colleges, okay? And as you can see, each college has it broken down by the number of degrees obtained in the total here, as well as across each college, how many um, degrees were obtained by the survey, all right? So in total here, I'll highlight this really quick. We surveyed 21,000 alumni. Okay? So let's find out if we were going to pull, that is, is pick a alumni from this pool of 21,000, from our sample of 21,000, let's answer these questions. And I recommend you pause the video as I ask the question, pause it, try to figure it out, then I'll show you the answer. So for example, the first, what is the probability of selecting a student from college C? Okay, so I'd take 33,500 and divide it by 21,000. So 33,500, 21,000, 33,500 divided by 21,000, I get, let's say 0.16, 16% chance, okay? Second question, what's the probability of selecting a student that has a human resources degree, an HR degree? Okay, so we're at HR, human resources, 2542, 2542. And again, we have a, a survey sample of 21,000. So therefore 2542 divided by 21,000 gives us a 12%. So 12% chance we pull a, from our sample one student will have an HR degree. Next question, what's the probability of selecting a student from college A or has an MIS, Management Information Systems degree? Okay, so let's think about this for a, se a second, okay? And all right, I'm gonna pause the video for a second, think about it. Okay, let's think this through. So from college A, how many students do we have? 7325, so I'm just gonna put 7325 here, right? There's a few ways of figuring this out, okay? So I'm gonna show you a quick way. So we have 73, so we'll say college A. And now we say MIS, or Management Information Systems degree. Let's see, Management Information Systems degree is 2323. 2323, 23. so MIS, same. That totals 9648, so, so 9648. Now, Here's the catch. If you look, we have 7325 from College A, and we also have the 2323 from Management Information Systems. So look at this number here, 895, 895. At 895, think about it, those students are in both buckets. They're in the College A bucket and the Management Information Systems bucket. So we have to minus those. So we'll say both, we'll do minus, 895, so because they're in both, they're counted twice. They're counted in an MIS degree and as a college A. So I'm going to sum these three numbers. I get 8753 and divide that by our sample total. We get, well, it'll say 42%. Okay, again, the trick of it is you have to subtract one of the groups because you count them twice. Okay? Clear this out here. All right, what's the next question here? Let's look at the next question. The next question says, what's the probability of a student that is from college B given the student has a, has a management degree? So given. So that's the, that's the trick, is this the statement of a given. All right, so management degree is 2702. So we'll say management, 2702. Now, so now as you see, we said management gives, we're going to just focus on here. We're going to focus right here in this row here. I'll 
do a quick highlight here. Now, it says here, College B, so it's 97.75. College B, so we're gonna take the 90.75, 9.75 divided by 27.02 gives us about 36%. 36%. Again, the minute we say given, we're only focusing on this. We're only focusing on the management degree. We say, hey, we're given 2702, only day ones from college B to 975. Okay. We put our work here. Networking that was. Um, All right, so now let's go here. What's the problem with selecting a finance student? given from college a so again we got college a right here 7325 so we'll say college a 7325 now that we said college a so we're only focusing on this group here is that we're only focusing on this group here so it says here given a finance so finance student what's a finance student here what's the finance numbers so let's see, finance is 630. So 639 students received the finance degree from College A. Okay, that's all we're focusing on. So 639 divided by 7325 is 8%. So someone says, hey, uh, actually it's close to 9%. So someone says, hey, just pull a student above from our 21,000 students a sample. One student from College A, What's the probability of that person having a finance degree? And that's where we get the, we'll say again, 9%. Again, the 639 divided by the 7325. Okay, now let's think about this a second for the next question. What's the probability of selecting a non finance student, given the students from College A? Okay, so let's think about that. If we know the probability has to range between zero and one, so zero to 100%, that's our range, okay? If we said 9%, 9% chance of pulling a finance student from our, from our sample of college A, a 9% chance, well, I, we could do the math, we could just simply say 0.91, because 0.91 plus 0 0.09 is one percent okay? It's a little easy. Let me clear this out here. Okay, let's talk about the next question here. The probability of selecting a student from college E given they have an accounting degree. College E given their accounting degree. So we're gonna make this one gray. Now we're getting, oh, accounting's right here, right? This is your accounting degree. So we're getting given accounting degree. Focus on the accounting accountants. So we'll say accounting is what? Counting is 2251. And we said we want to know about the uh, college B, E. I'm sorry, college e. e. Okay, we're going to do this. College E is 48, not many. So we say college E, 48 divided by 2251. Again, so we said given. So if someone said pull one student, one alumni from Cal that is in a counting degree. In college, what's the probability? Is about two percent. Okay, point two zero here. Okay, so good. Okay. So nice question. What? Uh, let's see here. Let's unhighlight this first, and we'll think about the next question here. Moving right along. What is the probability of selecting a student from college A given an HR human resource degree? Again, HR. Right here, with this blue. Now, HR, 2542. So from our 21,000 people, automatically we're taking, we're already focusing on a 2542, that small sample of the 21,000 alumni that we sample. Okay, so we got 2542. Now it says here, college A. So college A is what? College A is 691. 691 divided by 2542 is 
27%. Okay, a couple more. Uh oh, here's one of those or questions here. What is the probability of students college C or a marketing degree? Okay, so we're going to say C and marketing degree. Well, we're going to blue this and we'll go here and we'll go college. What did it say here? College C or marketing. So we'll say marketing here, college C here. Marketing is what? Marketing is this number here, which is 2,500. College C is right here, 3,350. Make this a different shade. Okay, is, is that true or false? That doesn't seem right. Well, here's why. We, we're counting this, so we said marketing is 2,500, college is 3,350. But we're counting this number here twice. It's in the marketing and in the college C grouping. So we're gonna, gonna say we need, to, we need to remove minus 260. So we're gonna sum these three numbers because the 260's in there twice because they got a marketing degree and they're from college C. We got 5590, so 5590 divided by 21,000. That's our population, or I'm sorry, our sample. We have about, eh, we'll say 27%. Okay, so right, let's, let's do one more here. It says here, so far so good. I'll pause, again, I, I recommend you pause this. I said before, pause this video, try the question on your own, and let's see if you got it. And, and there's different approaches to each of these questions. Okay, so, all right, selecting up, we're gonna select another student, college D or business analytics. So business analytics, all right. And what does it say here? For college D, college. So let's remove the, review the numbers. And then we'll highlight these numbers here. We're not worrying about these numbers here for now. Okay, we said here, business analytics, so it's right over here is 2309, 2309. College Diaz and David, let's see here is what, oh, 1520. 1520, okay, but look what happened here again. We have business analytics, 2309, college D, 1520, but look at this number here, this grouping of students here, this sample here, 25, I'm sorry, 205, and 205. So we counted these, this group twice, so we have to remove them. So minus 205 gives us 3624, and 3624, by right, right at 21,000 gives us about, eh, we'll say 17%, 17%. So there you have it. The, the trick of it is, is the ones that have the or statement. When you have an or statement, like again, we'll, look at, we'll focus on the last one for just one more minute. The or means that I'm looking at the degree, right? This is analytics or college D, right? College. This, pop, this sample of 205 has been counted twice. So I have to remove it. I have to remove it from one time from the group. Okay, and that's how, again, how we came up with 17%. And that concludes this video, thank you.